Good morning, guys. It's 9.07 on January 7th. My due date was January 6th. Came and went. Woke up this morning. Last night, I was having, like, occasional contractions, but I was just, like, at one point, I was just like, eh, I'm just going to stop counting them and go to bed because they weren't really consistent. I wake up, and I'm like, oh, did I pee my pants? Just a teeny, tiny bit. And I'm like, as I'm walking to the bathroom, it's like, okay, a little bit more comes out, a little bit more comes out. I sit down and I'm like, I'm just going to grab a cup and it's kind of clear. I'll show you guys so that you guys kind of know what this looks like. But this is not what I would expect my urine to look like this early in the morning. All right, so it's like a clearish liquid and I'm like, okay, I'm convinced that my water just broke. Um... So that's exciting. I don't think my mom's water like ever broke and my sister's always been induced and it's like, okay, well, this is something new. Um, Juan was already at work. It's already been at work for like three hours or whatever. So I texted him, my parents are gonna be home soon. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm alone with Aubrey. So I'm dealing with her here. I'm gonna like get her and jump in the shower get some clothes on to get ready to go to the hospital and head out soon. I mean, I haven't had any major contractions. I'm sure they'll start relatively soon. But yeah, today's the day of the start. Who knows how long this will take? He may be born tomorrow. But yeah, I'm convinced this is my water breaking and this is the start of my birth video. Okay, just got out of the shower. I've had like two contractions within seven minutes apart from each other, so not quite active labor yet, but you know, I'm gonna be heading to the hospital because my fluid is still leaking out of me. So I got my Depends on, and I will still put like a protective mat on my seat in the car because I do not want to have to deal with that or have anyone else have their distraction away from helping me postpartum. And Aubrey's gonna stay here with my parents. So I'm just gonna grab like all my electronics and stuff that I thankfully remembered to charge last night and get ready for whenever Juan gets home and we head to the hospital. So Juan is still on his way home and we're just kind of scrambling, not really scrambling, but we're getting things ready um, to head out. But most importantly, breakfast. Uh, Definitely want to eat something before we head to the hospital so that I have something in my body. This is actually Placek. It's a Polish bread and I'll be sharing the recipe either before or after this video, but it's a Polish sweet bread. It's pretty yummy. So I'm eating this and uh, my contractions right now are like seven or eight minutes apart, lasting about a minute long. I feel like really bad period cramps and sometimes saying like, ooh, like helps a little bit better than just trying to breathe through it. So I actually heard that if you moo, which is I guess the sound I'm making, it, it is helpful. So I can confirm that it helps a little bit. All right, so we're almost at the hospital. My contractions are three to four minutes apart. It's very bumpy and so it's very painful when I'm in a contraction. My back labor is like horrible. Yeah, I feel another one coming on. So gotta go time that. Okay, thankfully that lasted only like 45 seconds. So hopefully we'll figure out the parking situation here and get in and hopefully I can get an epidural, but we'll see. <laughs> I have a feeling I may like just, I don't know, pushing this baby out rather than not feeling anything. But like, I feel like that would be more relief than going through the actual back labor and stuff, but I'm sure I'm wrong on that. I'm sure I want the epidural, but we'll see what's happening. Um, I will give you guys an update once we're kind of like in the room, maybe, or who knows by then, maybe I'll have had the baby. I really don't know how quickly this is gonna go or what's gonna happen, so sit tight. Okay, I got my epidural. It is now just about 12 o'clock, so my water broke three hours ago. Juan's already digging into snacks over there. Uh, I'm very thankful for that epidural. I was like moaning through each contraction and the, and the back labor is horrible. So yeah, very thankful for that. I was six centimeters dilated when they checked me 
and uh, the nurse thinks that I won't be in labor that much longer, um, just the way that things are going. So uh, very thankful for the science of epidurals. Okay, so epidural has fully kicked in. I am praising the Lord for science, <laughs> you guys. Um, and yeah, we're just kind of waiting to see I think they're going to put a catheter in in a little bit. Um, they want really the epidural to like really kick in before they put a catheter in. But I'm feeling much better. Um, my lips are a little, you know, chapped or whatever, dry. But I can drink water. They're allowing me to drink water um, or like clear liquids or whatever. So no food until after he comes out. And, you know, just really praying for this VBAC. Hopefully it'll be a success. Um, if not, at least, you know, it doesn't look like I'll be going through 31 hours of labor again. So, um, yeah, there's at least that benefit and I'll accept whatever God, you know, plans for us. But that's just kind of that update. Um, Juan's going to try to film or record sounds of like the birth of pushing and stuff, but I don't know if they'd really want even people recording with doctors in the room. At least where we're at, it's pretty strict um, regarding doctor's appointments. So, uh, and like filming and stuff. But try to keep you guys updated and in the loop and I'll check in soon. All right, so they tried to put the catheter in right now. It is one, like 23, something around there. Um, we're not having luck with the catheter. She checked me and I'm like nine and a half centimeters, which is exciting. Um, but we're going to see if we can get this catheter in. It might just because be because like where his head is or whatever. But so far things are progressing, which is good. Um, maybe we'll have him by three o'clock or something. And I'll have to stay at the hospital like until tomorrow night, most likely. Okay, so it is 2.15. I'm on my side. They ended up getting the catheter in, thank goodness. Feeling a lot of pressure down there. They said, I think he, his head was at like negative two or negative one and at zero during contractions. So he's moving down and um, they will, you know, I'll lay on this side. I was on my right side for a while. I'm going to lay on this side to kind of help with the positioning of things. And then we might start pushing in the next, you know, within the next hour, probably is my guess. So that's the update so far. Definitely feeling a lot of pressure. So it'll, hopefully we'll feel good to push him out if that is in God's plan. So thank you for all of your guys' prayers, at least that have gotten me to this point. I really appreciate them and I will check in soon. All right, so I'm in a weird position called like flying cowgirl or whatever um, because every time I have a contraction, Jack's heart rate like drops like big time. So I'm a little worried that like the cord's wrapped around his neck or something like that. Um, I think a little bit is normal, but it's like every position I'm trying is not working out too well. Sorry about my bad angle here, but it's, you know, a little uncomfortable, the position I'm in. So hopefully it won't come down to, you know, an emergency C-section because of just how he's doing. Hopefully whatever it is works itself out, but that's kind of where we're at. It's like 11 or 12 past three and we'll see what happens. All right, checking in. It's almost four o'clock and we're still having issues with the contractions um, and his heart rate like lowering every time I have a contraction. I'm in a weird position. Can't really tell, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm just, my anxiety's telling me like, oh, you know, what if it's a cord wrapped around his neck? And I'm sure I've already said this, sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I'm just, I want him to be okay. And if possible, you know, not need to have an emergency C-section because of it, but I'd have a C-section if it meant that, you know, he's gonna be safe and healthy. So I'm just really hoping that this resolves itself. I haven't been checked you know, since the last time I updated, but I think I'm having a, I think I'm having a big contraction right now. So, you know, we'll see. 
but yeah that's the update for now okay it's like 4 20 they just checked me i'm fully dilated they had me push like once or twice head is at plus two the heart rate issue is common they said and so hopefully we can get him out and everything will go well so thank you again for your guys's prayers and the next time uh you'll see my face is hopefully after he's born and hopefully he'll be healthy uh, we might include some sounds of what's going on, but uh, I'm excited to meet the little guy. So I could be, realistically, I could be pushing for two hours, three hours, and not have any breaks. Not like a, we'll come back because we got to go deliver someone else. Not for that reason. Okay. But if you need like a 20 minute break just to like... Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we did about a little over a half an hour of pushing. Um, probably my contractions, sorry I'm shaking this thing. My contractions are probably about like three minutes apart. And I think his head is still at like plus two. Um, she said it was like his head's going down and then it goes back up and kind of like a firstborn, you know, experience because in some ways this kind of is like a first time like all over again. But I guess another mama needed a C-section, so I'm going to labor down. I'm like having a peanut ball in between my legs and laying on my side to benefit Jack. But I got me some apple juice and we'll see how long it takes for them to come back. But I'm hoping that just this time, you know, that elapses and laboring down will be beneficial and not wear me out. I'm not having any heart fluttering, which I'm very thankful for. So far, it's been a pretty positive experience and I'm getting good feedback like you know I've gotten I've had some good pushes and stuff like that so I'm feeling optimistic and hopefully hopefully the next little set of pushes will get him out. Um, Juan can confirm from me pushing that Jack already has a lot of hair <laughs> so um, it'll be cute to see his little face with a full head of hair so check in soon. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Oh, yeah. 
One bigger than you that came out this way. <laughs> but that's all. You're the biggest one I've had in a while. Hi. I'm sorry. I know. You're mad. We're not making fun of you. We're just impressed. Yeah. It's, it's we're impressed. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.